Jovi has put out a uh, greatest hits package, and they also put two new songs on. Right, that's what I understand. Some new music. So why don't we bring the guys in? There's a lot going on with them. Richie is uh, engaged to Heather Locklear. How, how good is he's that? Amazing. It's and, a wonder he's here. Why isn't he with Heather? Yeah, I would be. Hey, John, <laughs> I would be with Heather. I wouldn't even be here, Richie. <laughs> I would. I wouldn't even leave her sight. What are you doing? Everybody, about Everybody sit down, will you? Hi, Rob. How you doing? Hello, hello. Morning. Hey, guys. Hey, man. Good to see you, John. Good Richie. Man. David. Howard. What's up? Good to see you. How you doing? What's happening? You got it. All right, guys. Close the door, Gary. Gary's all upset because I said, bring some tissues. It took him 10 minutes to get the tissues. I had to yell at him. <laughs> all right. Anyway, where were we? Let me look at you boys. Let me see how you look. look you oh, you all look good. Let, let me look you over. Millionaires over. You look, yeah, let yeah. me look you millionaires <laughs> over. What, what was that? Got a little, you know, you got a little stash and stuff going. Well, I'm growing that for my film, the thirty million dollar budgeted uh, private parts. Oh, excellent! You know what? Everyone's going to be very surprised by this because sometimes we, you know, uh, actresses have been contacted and something. They go, "Oh, what is it? Some porno movie?" Really? Just because they hear your name? This is no. This is a thirty million dollar film. That's an expensive. That's something. Porno that's a. That's an expensive <laughs> porno movie. That's right. And it's no porno. You will live every moment with me. You'll see the climb up to this. <laughs> Love it, babe. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful story. You will see it all. We got to sit for two hours to see you just get here? Yeah. <laughs> just to get to this point. Here I am making a movie in my life like I did something big. <laughs> yeah. I did vagina jokes. Uh, anyway, it's great to see the guys from Bon Jovi, of course. And uh, first of all, there's so much to talk about, I don't even know where to begin. Yes, we have to talk about the new album. That's the reason you're here. That's the reason you guys come out of your expensive homes. This you're is you guys, hiding. Your hiding places, your lair, the back cave. Yeah. You guys have made a lot of money. I estimate your uh, fortune at over $100 million. What do you think of that? Uh, whose fortune? I think. Thank you. Yeah. What? Yeah. Collectively. I see. Uh, well, how many albums did you guys sell? Three, it's 300 million. How many <laughs> albums did you sell? Close to 50 million. 50 million albums. Those pens work. Daddy. Let me, let me, where's my pen? I have what to, do they get? A dollar? Uh, they, get, they get 10 cents an album. Get your pens out. So you guys made like $10,000. That's the way I figure. That's a lot of money. Well, it was even split with the record company. That's right. They got $999 Actually, million. Blessed Robert John. Let the truth be told. John Bon Jovi has... Four, has ninety million dollars, and the other four guys have to scavenge. They're scrapping they're, 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 they're trying to scrape whatever they can. <laughs> hey, listen, that's life. All right, Richie, let's get to you first because you always have the best stories. Absolutely, he really does. Isn't it amazing, John? My hero. I don't know what happened. American hero. Every <laughs> I don't know what happened. Really? Don't I don't know what happened. No, you're a handsome guy. I always said that to you. I never. Thank you I, you're a very handsome guy. And uh, Richie has, uh, John has always been faithful to his wife. Yes, he's, you know, he married his childhood sweetheart. Which I'll never figure out. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I don't understand That's what happened there. You, Howard, what yeah, the hell, what happened? No, but I mean, you were already famous. You did something unbelievable, which was you got famous. And then you married her. And then you married her. Yeah, but we were together. I know. You know, I mean, you've been with your wife all those years. Yes. Imagine how cool you'd be right now if you were single. Oh, <laughs> and, and, and you as well. See? But that, that but that's the living in Janet. <laughs> yeah, that's unbelievable. Penance. And you've been faithful, seriously, yeah, John? Absolutely, that's yeah. So you John's doing just what you do. He now has projects where he gets to kiss other girls. That's right. Yeah, that's what my movie's all about. It's a thirty million dollar excuse to go kiss other girls. Like my wife's like, well, I guess you have to kiss other girls. It's a movie. I go, yeah, but yeah, I saw you on TV kissing Cindy Crawford. That's pretty good. Yep. And what is she like? A piece of wood, or does she know how to move? <laughs> <laughs> a nice piece of wood. I'm yeah. Sure. What is the problem with her? Does she know how to move? Cindy Crawford, man, I, I'd crawl over broken glass. But She's beautiful, right? Yeah. And when you're doing the kissing, is there? I saw you open your mouth. Yeah. And did she open her mouth? <laughs> did she open her mouth? He so tried it. Hands in there, you <laughs> so But that, that, that was fun, right? Oh yeah, no, it, it was it was hard work. That was called acting. Man. I know, no, but you tongue you tongued her. That you tongued her. I, I was trying to do anything. I was flossing her teeth. Like, <laughs> yeah, really? Fantastic! Isn't that great? Yeah. And of course, now David. Your uh, big thing has been getting that big Joker tattoo on your chest. Now, what yeah, is going what is on it? with You're that? You're appearing in tattoo uh, magazine. I saw David in a tattoo magazine. <laughs> big, big. Now, what? Come on, guys. Uh, what do you mean? What do you make of that? Actually, I'm on a thirty million dollar movie about the tattoo. <laughs> is that right? Well, what's yeah. going on? I was shocked when I opened up a tattoo magazine because I've been thinking of taking the plunge myself. Have you? Well, I won't because the movie is coming up, and I have many love scenes. I don't want to. Well, have you can use the makeup. They have that body makeup. No, but seriously, you put a entire Joker. 
Were you How guys shocked? Were you guys shocked? Go ahead, show it. Look at the size of it. <laughs> oh my God! It is. <laughs> I mean, it's. It my is Jewish you. mother was crying. I'll yeah, tell you. I mean that is. <laughs> right. I mean that's amazing. That is a, a, a full head of the Joker <laughs> over your breast. Well, that way, you know, there's a lot of people in bed. You know, you're <laughs> right. looking. You are really the craziest member of Bon Jovi. I what? never realized the Joker. it. Joker. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> does it seem? Does it seem like a bad idea now? No, actually. You still love it. I still love it. Really? And it's still there. Hasn't worn off. And does Richie goof on your tattoo, or <laughs> does he ever say? I was with him. You were he with him. Right I was with him. Yeah. You went with him to do I that, and you didn't him. stop it. No, of course not. <laughs> no, no, I got it. Right with me. No. Come on. Come on. That's amazing. We had a great time. John, what do you make of that? Seriously, that is a, a great wild... time because he didn't have to go see this. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And did it hurt? I mean, to have the entire Joker on your full chest? It, it was a full eight hours. Wow. Yeah, I was sleeping. Man. I mean, I, I could imagine. <laughs> and he was, yeah, he was napping. For but me. The, to, you know what? It, it's, you know, to me, to put somebody's face on your own body, where it competes with your own head. I mean, if you go out with a bathing suit on. You don't know whether to look at your actual head <laughs> or the joke. Yeah, I'm a head. party happening. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a I'm laughing. There's a lot of <laughs> whose expression going on, do you check? Not just one guy walking in. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things going on there. There's a small map on it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, seriously, uh, John, what did you think when you saw this? Come to be honest. I never saw anybody go through that much for a tattoo before. It was huge. And were you shocked at the image of the Joker? Uh, what? Yeah, the Joker. Does he mean a lot to you? Yeah. Now, now David, explain <laughs> to you why the Joker of all. Uh, I mean, are you considered? David, the, Dave writes our joke. Too. I see Thank Jackie over here scribbling away. Yeah, Jackie <laughs> writes jokes, and so yeah. does David. I'm trying to yeah, keep does. the band funny, you know. Right, right. You try. I try. But seriously, why, why the Joker? Uh, it just was something that see, it has. Show me. Gun. Yeah, take off his shirt. Holding the gun. gun. Yeah, he has a gun, card. and even has words. Ha 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 ha. And he's laughing. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm laughing all the time. Yeah. And the nipples in the right place. Yeah, yeah, the nipples that's right there. And well, that you, was a good one. That's almost real. And you have to actually like shave the hair from your chest to so in order so the Joker it is, is part of body maintenance. Yeah. yeah. Grooming is important. You have to shave over your tattoo so that the hair doesn't interfere with it. Because well, I, I gave him a beard. I did like you. I gave him a little Fu Manchu <laughs> one. Oh, do you guys notice that? But no, lift up your shirt again. Lift up your shirt. Let's show you a full chest. He has a hairy chest. So he has to it's, shave around the perimeter of the Joker. Now, so is he it carving better. it out, or does he shave the whole chest? No, he, sh no, he, sh no, he just carves it out, so he has hair. I mean, there's a whole world going on with that tattoo. See, it's not easy. I, I'm telling you, there is a whole thing. Are you seriously? Upkeep. Up Upkeep. Up Upkeep. Up Maintenance. 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 I got people coming Upkeep. in. It's like a condo. Come in people do it. come in. I mean, shave me down. No, no, but, but, but David, seriously, what, how often? You probably have to shave that, like, at least two or three times a week. Yeah, once a week. Once a week? You get in the shower and you shave around your tattoo. I call my boy. And I go. <laughs> shave me. <laughs> oh, you got. You, I'm shaving. You got enough money now. You could hire a boy to do that. <laughs> you know, it's you unbelievable. <laughs> and, uh, and and you in a sense carved the campground for the Joker to play in. It's like a, a, a flat surface. If you will. If you That's will. right. Jack Nicholson got a royalty on that. That's right. It's the Jack man. You know it, what's amazing, and very few people know this. Ah. But uh, Jack Nicholson has tattooed David on his chest. <laughs> right? Yes, yes. And, well, uh, it's a mutual thing. Right. <laughs> and he's got ha 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 ha. John, did Richie come to you and confide his love uh, for Cher? Did you discuss the love? Richie's story. Much better. Richie, who, of course. <laughs> by the way, Richie did share. Everyone. Knows that. Well, Steady. They dated or something. Steady. Yeah, no, you did share. You've had your share of. Uh, share. <laughs> no, you've had your share of beauty. I mean, to have share is really quite a knock that on the belt. That was a coup. I don't think Richie really loved her, though. I think you did it because it was share. I know you. You could get better looking babes than share. John, do you agree or disagree? No, no, no. He doesn't love her. Oh, liar. True, 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 true. Really? Real good one. Real good one. You were not in love. Yeah, the problem seems to have been that Cher wanted to stay home and Richie wanted to go out. Well, Cher's a lot older than Richie. <laughs> Richie wants to have a life. Cher's ready for retirement. Right. Home. Richie's a young man. Cher oh. needs to I be wheeled around. I said nothing. Yeah, come on. I believe that the fifth. John, did Richie come to you and confide his love uh, for Cher? Did you discuss the love that, that uh, Richie had for Cher? I feel the love in the room right now. <laughs> Bob, go for it. <laughs> John, did the the ten. He was in love with her. He was, he was in love with her. You felt it was true love. Absolutely. And you don't think it was the uh, allure of Cher, the superstar that, that uh, did girl, it. This girl come out on the road. I mean, she, you know, to, that's not Get easy. close to that microphone. I can't hear you. She'd be out on the road with us. That's not easy, you know. I mean, she, she was definitely one of She went on the road with you? Yeah, she'd be, you know, in, a, in the back and, of the Oh, you're kidding. Van. How annoying is that? 
she's, I'm telling you. Poor Richie. No wonder he broke up with her. She was your Yoko. Yeah, no. Yoko. <laughs> and it is true that by on your last tour, your last tour together, room, you guys were not even room, talking right. to each other. No, no, no. You had, right? You were mad at each other. That's, it says it in your bio. No, 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 no. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. I just read it in their bio. No, it doesn't. You know you have a bio that says by the end of your last tour, you guys were we not talking other. to each other? That's their bio. Oh, I'm man. talking about the bio the record company it gives out. I swear. I Bring it in, Gary. Hoodie. Listen. <laughs> no, you guys, were, you guys had, had, fall, had a falling out. We were doesn't it say it in their bio? No, no, the, we, were, we were truly exhausted by the end of the last tour. This is your bio. Uh, here we go. It says, um, oh, we were little. Nobody said goodbye. We got on different planes going to different places. Nobody cared enough. And yeah. F? Yeah. That, that, we were, shoot, we were dead. <laughs> yeah, okay. Enough. Enough. You were tired. <laughs> yeah. You we, wanted we never it. hated each other. We were just dead. We were down in Mexico <laughs> dying. Wait, it says, looking back, there was a lot of bad ass that went down. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Ooh. This is your bio. <laughs> You guys wrote that. <laughs> guys, who wrote that? Sure. <laughs> There's some bad acid that went yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that kid you know like that. The record company, the I got to tell you something. The record company hands out a bio. So when guys come in, you, you have a couple of questions. So I say to the guys, gee, you, I figure this is something they want to talk about. Yeah, right. I mean, you're, you're denying your own bio. Imagine what the record company edited out. Yeah, yeah. okay, imagine. <laughs> anyway, uh, look. Anyhow. Don't believe what you read, Howard. Oh, but your bio. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's our story, but don't believe it. Oh, I see. It's true. You know, I was misquoted in my own autobiography several times. Is that oh, right? yes, absolutely. See? see? It happened. All right, so wait a second. All right, so there was not bad vibes. There were bad vibes. So what if there were bad vibes? We were burnt down on each other. We were tired of each other. Yeah, I mean, we never hated each other, which is how this started. And that was, right. That was the, we were dead, yeah. We didn't want to be on the road. And were you annoyed by Cher's constant presence in the bus, much as Yoko was a part of the Beatles? No, Cher was absolutely, absolutely cool. I'm telling you, we would sit and you could be in a Holiday Inn and she'd be down there hanging with the guys and she's never a problem. Yeah, she was guys. totally... Yeah. Would you ever have to have sex with her in the bus while the no, other guys were there? No, 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 no. I don't mean you. I mean Richie. We don't have a bus. We're on a plane. Oh, you're on a plane. Yeah. Oh, so shares on the plane. Glom on a free ride, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no I'm kidding. Hey, who knew? You know what I mean? So what happened? She asked you to marry her, and then you wouldn't do it. Kid from Jersey. You no, want to marry? No, no, no. Her. That would have been cool to marry her. No, I wasn't ready for any of that. So. Yeah, you had her a couple of thousand times, and then you moved on. Oh. Steady. Oh. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> nothing. Wrong. Mile High Club with Cher. <laughs> All right, so so now you got Heather Locklear. That's a piece Isn't of it. Isn't it pretty cool being Richie Sambora? That's right. I right. mean, every guy in America is waking up, going to work right now, going, Jesus. Well, Christ, that's why I, I was shocked wrong? that you never did that. I mean, you had the opportunity to dump your girlfriend. You weren't even married, and you married her. You could have done all heaven. this. <laughs> we'll be calling him up. That's you right. could have done all there. this. No, I get points in heaven for this. It's yeah, oh, yeah, you're going to heaven. There's no <laughs> doubt with me. Richie's going right to hell. And he deserves it. So, Richie, what happens? You meet Heather where? That, I, I was shocked when you Actually, ended up... Actually, uh, a mutual friend just introduced us. So and know. Tommy Lee is uh, upset, I take it? No, no, not at all. Tommy has a, has a, a, a wonderful girlfriend, I think, and he's, he's okay. Get close to that microphone. I want to miss the detail of this. Yes. Now, you're telling me, you, um, Tommy Lee, do you ever think of him when you were in bed with Heather? Never. I mean, Actually, never. Heather, Heather always screams your name, Howard. Oh, does Every she really? time I'm with her. No, but you... And it freaks me out. Who was cooler than him when you called her? It was that it was, was what I was that saying. was great. You just ask yourself. I, mean, <laughs> right. I was. I listened to the radio. Wow. I called Heather. I spoke yeah. to Heather Lockley on the phone that on the air, cool. and all of a sudden she goes, Saturday Night Live. and she says, right. uh, "I said, are you with Richie Sambora?" She goes, Pink "Ask Baruch. him yourself." Oh, puts up the phone. And he goes, man. "Can you believe it?" <laughs> hey, man, King here. Baruch. Oh. King Baruch. Yeah. 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 Could have been Richie Sambora. Could have been somebody. <laughs> <laughs> You're in bed. Tell me, is it easy because you're Richie Sambora, or do you have to quarter? Howard, I can't be talking about this. But she's, you're sure you can't? Oh, stop that. She's going to be my wife. I can't be. She's, I can't. You're not going to marry her. Yes, I guarantee you, you won't get married. I, 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 I guarantee you this engagement, Richie will back out of it. You think so? Absolutely. I know it. I'll bet Howard. anybody in the room. Is there money? Howard. What? Yeah. How much do you want to bet? Howard. I'm the rest of the jewelry. I'll bet you the money. <laughs> really? I'll bet you the hundred million I'm worth. Really? <laughs> all of it, huh? No, John. Put it all on the line. He's getting married. How much you want to bet he don't get married? No, I, I, I'll uh, take Did you bet. sign the pre? You have more money than her. Did you just sign a prenup? Not yet. No. Not yet, but you will. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, the lawyers <laughs> are working on it now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, then if you have a prenup and she agrees just to keep your she's finances great, separate. She's a great girl. Oh, if she signs a prenup, she's a great girl. No, she's a great girl. I mean, she's great in the sack. Do you I have imagine. a prenup, Howard? 
Do I have a prenup? No, of course not. I, got, when I was married. poor when I got married. I didn't have right. a dime. So half goes right over. Yeah. What about you? You, you must have a prenup because you were making money when you uh, got married. I don't have a prenup. You don't? Now. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. What happened to love, Howard? Don't you ever... Love is a... Love is a very strange Four letters. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't figured that word out yet. No, Heather will be terrific for the two years that you use her like oh, a used chair. Oh, and then he is going to... You watch. You watch. Richie okay. is not going to... I know Richie. I know Richie. He's used to change. He's used to getting the different girls. I don't care how great we're, Heather we're is. We're sick. No. Take it easy. Richie, I don't care how great Heather Locklear is. A little bit of a cold. Let me tell you something. He's when you're a rock right star, now. when you're a rock star and you can have any woman on the planet... Yes. As great, look at Billy Joel with Christy Brinkley. I changed my way. No, you didn't. You think you did. I did. He's you a did. new man. Yeah. That's it, man. And you've only been with Heather since you met her? It's all, it's over. You're not out there anymore. Not what out. is it, Baba Booey? Get Heather on. I was reading one of those. Uh, <laughs> I was listening to one of those gossip reports. Yeah. And it says that um, that Heather wants to have a baby, and that during set breaks on the show, he's no, in there having like... sex with her, trying oh to get her pregnant. God. Is that is right? That right? Oh, and oh. Mine, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Oh, absolutely. Lots of practice. Wow. It hasn't stuck yet, but <laughs> wow. You got to be in it to win it. Oh, you know, my, my next life. How do you not want to be Richie Sambora? You could have been Richie Sambora. I could have been somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I could have been, been Richie. <laughs> Listen, even Heather becomes Jessica Tandy one day. Oh, stop. Oh. Richie, Richie knows. If Heather was in an accident, seriously, let's say tomorrow. <laughs> let, let me be honest. And be honest. If Heather, was in a, if Heather was in a car accident. They have to amputate one of her legs, okay? And her face, she, she now looks like the Joker on David's chest. <laughs> All right, her face is really mauled, okay? Would you still go through with the wedding? I would figure it out and I'd go through with it. Really? You would figure I what out? totally in love. She's a great woman. I'm in love. You, you love her inside as well as outside. Absolutely. Outside. I don't Absolutely. believe you it. You should have started with just the leg. What can I tell yeah. you? And then worked up to the face. All right. She loses her leg <laughs> now. She doesn't have a leg. You have to sleep with her every night. There's no leg. I love There's the leg. Stump. There's a stump. I love the leg. I love no. the leg. No, the leg is no the longer leg there. The leg is good to be. <laughs> He's full of it. I love the leg. Do you believe that, John? I don't believe it. I believe you love the leg. You do? David, you believe that? Yes. All right. Unbelievable. Yeah. All right, let me take a break. I'm, I love the leg. I'm going. <laughs> bon Jovi is here. Now, what happened? You guys were going to do some live singing today, but what happened? You got a cold? What? You will? Oh, good. Excellent. Okay, good. You can do a little concert for us? Hey, when we come back, uh, the boys, in honor of their new, their new uh, 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 CD, which is a compilation of your greatest songs, which we'll listen to because uh, we'll do a little retrospective, then you'll do a little live performing, uh, because people forget. You never play well, the catalog. Well, if you guys are going to, if you guys are going to perform, then uh, I, I'm into it. We were arguing, me and Baba Booey, what your best song ever was in history. Uh, Baba Bowie says, uh, Wanted, Dead or Alive. I said, uh, no, it was a Runaway. You always loved Runaway. I love that song. It's true. Yeah, all right, so we'll, we'll, we will go back. Why she's a Runaway. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll uh, also uh, discuss the two new tracks you have on the CD, and then we'll discuss that uh, incredible Heather Locklear and the first time you got her in the sack. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very she much. the best you ever slept with? Yes. Better than Cher? Ooh. No, who is better? Am I getting married? Yeah, she's the best. <laughs> and the tricks, the tricks that she knows in bed. Oh. You don't think Tommy Lee sort of trained her a certain way? I don't care where she. You don't care where she learned it. <laughs> See, that would bother me. I wouldn't want to know. Like, I don't know the. I don't oh, know the so loser. if your wife ever comes up with a new trick. I don't. Yeah. I don't want to know. that she was hanging out. Uh huh. Somewhere else. Yes. Right. Uh oh. Would Heather sleep with another girl in front of you? You don't. Don't need it. But he's had all that. So. You've had that. Already, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the most disgusting thing she ever did in front of you? Did you ever see her go to the bathroom? Take it easy. John, when you guys were on the road, and David, when you guys were on the road, do you mean to tell me you guys never took part in the groupies at all? You never had My that? microphone just broke. I, it's, <laughs> oh, so you did? I was... You, your wife let you do that? Mm -mm. She let you get it out of your system? No, they no. weren't you broken up for a while. That's right. Yeah. Oh. There you go. <laughs> they did all that. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. All right. And Robin will be right back with more right. right. to that break. Hey, Robin. Hey. Richie, before we go to commercial, tell me the first time you got a hate call from Sonny Bono. <laughs> Talk about that experience. What did he say to you? You know, 
<laughs> me and Bono, man. Oh, did you think about? Very cool. Did you think about Sonny when you were with Cher? No, I got. <laughs> <laughs> you got, got past that. He can't even go to Palm Springs anymore. Yeah. Right? Uh, <laughs> hey, hey. No, it must be wild. But it must be wild when you're with a Cher and you're thinking about, oh Jesus oh, Christ, next. Sonny has been here. <laughs> no, you never thought about Sonny. I never thought about Sonny. Greg Allman? No, I mean... Greg Allman? No, no. Although I really admire Let's Greg. do that. Really? <laughs> How many, uh, any of those guys? The tattoos... Answer one question. I, I say this. The tattoos on her ass are painted on. Those are not real. They are? Honestly, honest to God? Swear, say, I swear to God, I hope they die. I swear to God, I hope they die. All right. I told you they were real. All right. All right. He uses that body makeup, like you can use. Is that right? Mm -hmm. All right. We will... Uh, because to me, on that video where they show her ass cheeks with the tattoos... I feel it looks like she took, took a dump in her pants, <laughs> doesn't it? I mean, it looks like there's a mess on her, on her oh, butt. A messy. Richie, didn't you find it, like, it looked a little yeah. messy? <laughs> See, Richie, Richie knows. Didn't you think it looked like, it looked like um, she had an accident in her panties? I know the thing. <laughs> What's the most disgusting thing she ever did in front of you? Did you ever see her go to the bathroom? Take it easy. No, would Cher ever go to the bathroom in front of you? Have you, ever seen, so. have you ever seen Heather go to the bathroom? Oh. No. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> We're not old enough to be classic. We're only ten years old. You have to be dead. No, I lied. Some of our albums are up here. Uh, see that? We are old. <laughs> hey, we're classic. We're not old. We're classic. Oh no. How's that one? Let's see. How's that record? Uh, condition? Oh, well. We're old. Now this one's really old. We don't talk about that. One. No, we didn't. We didn't Before do that one. you were born. That was when you were. All right, guys, what do we want to play first? You, come on, let's do a few tunes, some some hits or maybe a new song. I don't know, we'll anything. Just, give us some. All right, give me, now, Fred, where is this guitar? Did you ever let them look at the Stop instruments while we were gone? No, yeah, Fred yeah, refused. Yeah, they tuned, they they work. Work. See if they're tuned. Uh, Fred tuned them. They're in tune? Oh, thank Stevie you. That's, uh, uh -oh. That's a Stevie Ray Vaughan guitar. Hold on a minute. Is it right. a model or is it really? Hard? Now, uh, of course, to have Bon Jovi do an in-studio concert is a great honor. Oh, oh absolutely. You guys had instruments and everything. Hey, what about Woodstock? I, I was on the air saying that you guys should have been asked to Woodstock. It's almost like you, it. you didn't want to do that? No. Oh, okay. Woodschlock. Cool. Woodschlock. Okay, I got you. Did they ask you to do it? I didn't want to. You didn't, want, you didn't even want to deal with it. All right, now, John, you're playing an acoustic guitar. Yep. Richie is playing the Stevie Ray Vaughan Fender. Do you like that guitar? Yeah. That's all right? And, David, you'll be playing those keyboards. Put those on. Hey, could you turn me up, please? All right, what song should we do? For, what is your favorite Bon Jovi song? Would you like to hear... Um, I love Living on a Prayer. But... You like Living on a Prayer? What about Living on a Prayer? Could we do, you want some echo? Now, listen to that. Can I have a little more guitar? <laughs> Crank it up on this end. Is that better? That's good? Yeah. yeah, I used to, uh... Oh, this is exciting, Robin. Yeah, I'm getting excited. I'm getting goosebumps. Too bad I don't have my drums. I could have jammed with the boys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a real... What happened? You stopped? He's giving me a medley. Oh, you're giving so me a medley? medley? Oh, you're giving me a medley. Okay, oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, we can give a little bit of uh, yeah. everything that's on the album. Ooh. Oh, oh, now, that, I like this. <laughs> hey, I think I'm on the Mike Douglas show. I like this. Remember, right. Mike Douglas is great. Yeah, that was, I used to watch that every day. With Ellie Frankel on the piano? All right, should I just call out the songs? <laughs> yeah, we should know. Just, all right, all right. Uh, keep the Faith? Yeah. How we all right. That? You don't know that one? <laughs> you probably played it nine million times. Go ahead. Mother, mother. Yeah. yeah <laughs> mother, mother. Did you forget how to play? Yeah, I did. The time has just begun. I have suffered. Oh, my anger, the war can't be won. Right? All right, okay. All right, now wait a second here. Uh, what about Wanted, Dead or Alive? Ah, I know we know that. All right, now do, now do a little bit of that. I mean, do a lot of that. The same. Only the days will change every day. Seems where well, we're still away. Another place where the faces are so cold. To drive all night just to get back home. Cause I'm a 
That thing you do there, David, where you go, wow. Yeah, that was great. Hey, you're pretty good. <laughs> how do you, how, what are you doing? How'd you do that? Do that again. <laughs> Wasn't that incredible? <laughs> Magic. That's cool. Kind of does something now that's a that is a that is a great that's like a perfect song. It evokes emotion. Now who now who now who wrote that? Me and Richie. You sat down in a room together? In his mother's basement. Mama's basement. And what happens? You're sitting there, and, and, and someone comes up with some music, and then someone comes up with some words? Uh, that one, it was one of those good days. You, know? and you just sat there and started jamming? Between, like, at, at, between pizza and dinner. You know, it was like an hour yeah. and a half. An hour and a half? Came hour and complete. Minutes. Just really was. I had this idea, and then he played that riff, and it was done. Oh, but maybe wow. you and I should sit down you and eat pizza. You know what we're going to do this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, i got to tell you something. That was good. No yeah. wonder you put up with David's farts. Yeah. <laughs> We're in here during you know, commercial. We can't even out David's words. Yeah. That, I realize on that song you're good. That, now who developed that sound? You? Yes. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to talk to him about Heather during the commercial, okay. and I'll tell him I swear I won't say it on the air. <laughs> guys never come in here. Do they hate me? Tico's is that in Paris. Oh, really? Tico's living the life. You don't really need them, because I hear the three of you play together. I don't think we really need those guys. Do I we? didn't miss we need anything. Drama. We need our drum. That was Tico, good. Tico is uh, he's great, but so, he's in Paris. Now, people obviously will go out and buy the CD because they'll have on one collection all the yeah. real big monster hits, right? Oh, yeah, I yeah, hope so. Oh, I would assume yeah. so. Okay. You well, know, what about that other guy, Alec? They don't need him. No, no they don't need Alec know. and Tico. That was all right. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, they don't. They, they they confess to me in private. Yeah, they don't need. That. <laughs> they wish they could get rid of those guys, but they keep showing up. That was very good. Thank you. See, that evoked emotion to me, and I'm At heartless. In the morning. <laughs> I mean, I really have, I really have no. That's really, when you know you've done something. It's all yeah, I have no inner soul. I got to be honest with you. So that's amazing to yeah. move me, a Howard yeah. Stern. We're going to do this for a living, I think. David, what happened? You cut the cheese during when we were in commercial. David, he didn't, of really? course, who plays keyboards for Bob. You're in the other room. You can, uh... All of a sudden, a stink came into the room. <laughs> that is true. Oh man! And I, I didn't know what it was. I oh, swear, oh, I didn't do it. And then, oh, oh, but I'll, I'll tell you why I That's admired Mr. David. <laughs> you guys panicked and ran out of the room, but I stood in here. Uh, you were grading it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you give it? No, David was very honest. He stood up. and He said, "Listen, I did it." Oh. Which, See, a man's man. Very few guys copped. <laughs> oh, don't do it, man. A man's that was man. wild. <laughs> All right. Uh, by the way, of course, uh, Tico is on the album. Here's his uh, song on the All CD. Right. They have that. Here it is. <laughs> he gets his one track. Dear Saddam Hussein, oh, I'm stating publicly, <laughs> you're just another... All right, that's... <laughs> that was some blast you gave out. Really, that was a, that was a 10. His fart was so so intense, it faded his Joker tattoo. He has to go for a touch-up. It's colored again. It's all off. All right, listen. Guys, can I have you for a few more minutes? Sure. All right, sure, let me take a commercial break. When we come back, maybe as a finale, you'll perform your new song. We can do that. You would do it, right? We can do there is a new song. Hour? There's two new songs two new on the songs. album. And then uh, we'll take a short break. And then, uh, and of course, we'll wrap up with more good sex stories about Heather Locklear from Richard, <laughs> who's d is, was agreed to tell me everything. What is he telling you? As he what? shakes his head, what no. What is he telling I you can't in the commercial? Do it. <laughs> you stuff? I'm going to talk to him about Heather during the commercial. Okay. And I'll tell him I swear I won't say it on the air. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right everything. Well, I'll get it out of him. We'll be back right <laughs> after these words. The you got a hold, hold on. To what we I'm here with Bon Jovi. So on this new album, how did you guys? What did you do? You updated. You you yeah, updated "Living on a, on a Prayer." Prayer. Yeah, we redid it. It's really well, cool. And uh, let me hear a little of that. Yeah, when we did um, the unplug thing, whenever that was, and uh, MTV decided to start that unplug series because of Richie and I playing. Uh, we wanted to do it, but it's been a lot of years, so we re-recorded the song completely different instead of giving him an unplugged version. Right, so it's just something different. Yeah. All right, I understand. What track number is that? Do you what know? Is it? No, nine or Let me hear a little why it's different. Living on a prayer. Hold on. Prayer ninety-four, number ten. And then maybe you guys will perform that uh, that new song of yours. Sure. All right. Sure. Let me hear this. Let me no see. problem. Let me, man. Just tell me. Just, just forget the radio. Daddy. No, come on, man. Just talk about it. She won't what divorce you. Say that? Or Richie say isn't it. capable of that? No, I'm not saying Richie That's isn't capable. I'm just saying, what's it like when you have Harmonin and it's Heather Locklear? No. Oh, That's what we need to find out. <laughs> Was it, how long did it take you before you guys became lovers? Did you go with her for a night or a week? I'm not saying oh, anything. Oh, you two are too. Myself in trouble. I'll strangle you if you don't say. <laughs> You'll string me up. I'd like to have sex with your future wife to this song. Look at that. Just move slow. Yeah, that's a wedding gift. I put my hands on her hips. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, man. Never mind to this song. I could have sex with Heather to a jackhammer. <laughs> Just put that on in the background. Mmm. I'll show you. I'll show you what I do to Heather. David, come here. <laughs> come here. Come over here. Just turn around. Come here for a second. Come over here and act it out with me. Steady. Steady. I'm not an actor. I'm a musician. <laughs> yeah, you're an actor. Just like as a friend, Pat. <laughs> the personal. The, when you went to, are you the biggest she's had? Like, did she say, "Wow, Tommy was nothing compared to you"? <laughs> you don't want to blow it, right? I can't blow it. No. What's so a, great about her, though? It's a real thing, man. Really? It's just you know chemistry. And you're gonna give her a baby, huh? Oh, maybe someday. Super. Will she take the When's name the Sambora? Will she be Heather Sambora? Oh, we haven't even discussed that. Mm -hmm. what, am I, I gonna be invited it. to the wedding? Hey, if you have a power wedding, let me be. Let me be there. Definitely, man. Please, seriously, I'll behave. Okay. I won't ruin it for you. <laughs> you yeah. Somehow, yeah, you might yeah. behave. I'll be saving a little mom and dad. Yeah, yeah right. Hoping. <laughs> yeah, your wedding you video. Take Heather, be hey, you take Heather. Hoping over there. No, come on, man. You gonna have a lot of rock stars at the wedding? Heather's got a lot. She's into the whole Hollywood lifestyle, man. 
Uh, yeah, an... Aaron Spelling has to be there, right? You've yeah. got to have a big wedding. You go over to any of our fancy friends' house? Oh, my good friend Aaron, yes. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever I been? I'm very tight with him. Who's Heather's friend? Seriously. I'm producing shows now, don't you know? <laughs> be honest. Richie, come on. Who's Heather's friend? I have, you know, I mean... You must have met her friends. We live in no, her... they haven't gotten to that yet. It's like, uh, it's pretty mellow, man. Really? Yeah, you don't have any friends? She doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't have to be talk. Have you guys been over? Have you guys met Heather? No. Really? Are you serious? <laughs> you guys are really wow. getting close, aren't you? That's what always happens. She keeps her away from us. She knows better. Oh, man. David, come over here. Seriously. Feeling very amorous. Come on, let me just show you what I do to Heather. I'm not, I'm not a homosexual. Don't be a pike. It's not like the two guys. I like you in a Viking kind of way. You know what I mean? It's no, no, a manly no. Nordic thing. But you're the only blonde in the room. I gotta, I gotta. Settle down, Chad. You gotta hold, hold on to what we've got. Bring it on up. I can do this song. Still not for love. For love. You gotta sing better if you want me. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> All right, do you, do, not, guys, do your, uh, do your new uh, single. Do the one that uh, that. Uh, Big hit. Do your do your hit. Do a little uh, a version. Big of hit. It. The biggest. All right, this is a new song from Bon Jovi. Romeo well, is bleeding. You can't see his blood. Nothing but some feelings that this old dog kicked up. It's rep me, it's been raining. Now I'm drowning in the flood. You see, I've always been a fighter, but without you, I'll give up. And I can't sing no love song like the way it's meant to be. Well, I guess I'm not that good anymore. Excellent. Now, Richie, you don't Thank play on that much, song? <laughs> Not in the first verse. I'm a prima donna in the first verse of that song. Now, while John is singing and David is playing, are you feeling up Heather? Are you uh, working her in the corner? I'm thinking about it. Yes, you are. Have you ever fallen in love with any of the guys in the band? Of course you have. Oh, you have. <laughs> Uh, she's the, the local record girl. She's oh, not yeah? a publicist. Yeah, she's, she's not? She's the local record pro, person? Pro, promo. Promotion. Yes. Maria. Let me take a look at her. Uh, Baba Booey said she was uh, she's pretty beautiful. good. I like to see who you travel with. Maria. That record business. Maria. They, get, they hire these good looking women and they travel with the bands. And beautiful I think the publicists. And I, I bet you a lot of the women uh, think they're going to get it on with you guys. The, the publicists at our label are the most beautiful. Are they? Of any label. And I say that to them because they're nice to us. <laughs> but anyone, every, everyone... And it's true, actually. Anyway, everyone should go out and get the uh, new Bon Jovi Crossroad, uh, featuring uh, two new songs and, of course, uh, all of the greatest hits that Bon Jovi put together. And Richie will soon be getting married. When is the wedding? Uh, uh, we haven't started. He's not yeah. getting married. Yeah, we're enjoying it. Let me see the... Uh, right this is the publicist from the record company? <laughs> yep. Come on in, Maria. Come on in. Let me take a look at you. Oh, yeah, Maria. Maria, come on in. Oh, they are coming in meet Harvard. Let me ask you something. How come, uh, what do the record companies do? They just hire beautiful women, is that it, to travel with the bands? Where did they find you? Where did they find you? <laughs> no comment. I've been there 10 years. Oh, you have been there 10 years? You never uh, actually uh, mate with any of the bands? You don't have a... Uh, job requirement. That's not. No, but I'm saying you've never fallen in love with any of the guys in the band? Of course you have. Oh, you have. <laughs> that's got to be great. So it's a good career, I'm saying, for, for women, isn't it? I see. All right, well, you're as talkative as Richard. All right. <laughs> Richie, you don't need a brunette every once in a while to break things up? Nope. No? Okay, very good. Well, I can see he's committed. If he hasn't fallen to your charms, I can see that he is committed to the lovely Heather Locklear. 
All right, anyway, guys, thanks for coming in. Thank Good luck know. with the album. Thanks, and uh, blah, 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 blah. Thank you. It's all the same. Yeah.